y'all welcome to the style chronicles thank you so much for joining me my name is erica and i like to film outfit and style videos here on youtube you can also catch me on instagram at the style cron today Today's video is going to be all about how to be stylish. So I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite how to transform your outfits from plain regular outfits to very stylish outfits that you will be proud of. So stay tuned for all of that and I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I will tell you in regards to being stylish is be comfortable. Always, always, always strive for comfort. When you are trying pieces on to purchase, make sure that it is something you want to wear, something that you will not buy and just stick in your closet because it doesn't fit right or it doesn't sit right or it's not long enough or it's not short enough. Make sure it's something that you want to wear in that moment and that you will want to wear a week or two from now or possibly a year. Think about that when you are shopping because that is the key to being stylish. You have to be comfortable. If you are constantly picking and pulling at waistlines or pulling shirts down or pulling, you know, things out of places that they don't need to be or pulling them up to cover things like the uh, blue jeans in the 90s, the low-rise blue jeans, we were constantly picking those suckers up um, to bring them back over our butts and that's just not comfortable and it's never fun and anytime you see anybody get down from sitting up and they're pulling up their jeans and trying to get them on that's not stylish there's nothing stylish about that if it's something that you need to get tailored I'm a short girl so everything that I buy pant wise usually has to be tailored in order to fit so I get a lot of things tailored if it's going to need to be tailored take it immediately don't bring it home and let it sit in your closet for a couple months or a year until you uh, finally work up the effort to getting it to a tailor. Try and do it that day or maybe the next day or that week. Find time to take that piece and get it altered. Um, if it's a blazer that doesn't fit right or you're purchasing it because it's a great buy and you know that it needs to be tailored or altered, take it immediately as soon as you possibly can within that week. Always make sure that you are wearing things you like. If it's something that you like and something that makes you feel good, you will look stylish in it because it's you. You're expressing your personal style. Style is very personal. It's a very personal thing. It's a very personal way to express our feelings. It's a personal way to express how we present ourselves to the world. It's a personal way to express yourself. This is what you see. What I believe to be stylish may not be what you agree to be stylish or what your friend agrees to be stylish or your husband or your family or even your children or your parents. It's something that is so personal that what is stylish to you is not going to be stylish to everybody. And it works the same within genres of style. So if you are into the gothic way of dress and that was really big in the 90s kind of punk style you obviously are not going to appreciate or like a preppy or a very classic style of dress you're not going to like that that's not going to appeal to you that's not going to be stylish and it works the same way that if you are into a very preppy style of dress a very classic style or a very feminine ladylike style you're not going to appreciate a gothic or more laid back or very very casual style of dress. Okay, so it's Do not judge others on their style. You should not judge people by their appearance or how they look. It goes hand in hand with you are what you present to people. And if you are a very well-mannered person, the mark of an ill-mannered person is to point out the ill manners or flaws of other people. Do not spend on trend. What is trendy now will not be trendy in a month or a year from now. So try not to spend too much on it. Why do you want to spend so much on something that's super, super trending now? Save your money, spend it on the cheaper items for trends and spend more on the items that you know are going to withstand the test of time that you will have for years and years to come, possibly even pass down to your children someday. Create a healthy mix of high and low within your wardrobe. And break some rules. Make sure that whatever you are doing, you are breaking rules. Whatever you feel or you hear to be a rule, find a way to break it. Just do it. Wear white all year round. That's the biggest one, right? Mixing patterns. Do it, it looks awesome. So whatever you feel like is a rule, break it. In the 90s, we didn't mix our black leathers with our brown leathers. Now you mix black and brown 
all the time. It looks awesome. So find a way to break the rules because there's always a rule to be broken and there's something to learn from it. Have confidence. Always, always have confidence. If you are comfortable and you're wearing something that makes you feel good and you have confidence while you're wearing it, like I look awesome, this is me. This is what I'm going to give you and I rock you're going to look stylish because you're going to look like you have it all together. You've got it all figured out when you're really just faking it until you make it, which is the biggest rule of motherhood, I believe. Um, that's what we do on a daily basis, right? We don't know everything. We just fake it like we know everything. So. I hope you all are doing great and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>